I'm Josh Driver, founder and CEO of Selflessly, and we're gonna spend the day together. I got into tech startups here in Indianapolis in 2008. And so three startup tech companies and two nonprofits. After leaving my corporate job and starting selflessly, I've never seen the abundance of resources. It's absolutely possible to try something. So we actually built this house a little over two years ago. We lived in Irvington, just about five miles away from downtown. And we wanted to come closer in to downtown and take advantage of walking to work and being closer to the things that we were doing. And we built a house on this street that used to be vacant land. This whole neighborhood is in the midst of a revitalization. How are you? Good. Luck. Is it? Yeah, it's, it's good luck. Is this good luck to you? <laughs> so after my my coffee accident, ran home, changed out, and I'm in my new startup ladies t-shirt. Now we are off to the lawyer to do some paperwork. So we're talking about LOIs contracts, beta agreements, beta agreements, Getting customers signed up. Okay. We want to be able to present a scope to the people who have verbally committed so that they understand what's being required of them. Could just get them to sort of agree, yes, I understand the scope, yes, I want to participate in your program, and then we follow up with, mm -hmm. here's, our, here's our terms and conditions. I would like to have one. I could ride it around the hall. It, I would. I would, honestly. Okay, see you in a minute. Bye. So we're here at Union 525, which is where Selflessly's headquarters is. This space in Startup Alley is where a bunch of really cool companies um, have their designated office space, but also open door policy to where we can go in and hit them up for feedback or beta testing. But where we're located is in the Launch Indie space, which is a co-working open space. We've provided you with the role of mentors to both of us as we're trying to build this out and given your backgrounds and everything. We're at a point now where we're getting the prototypes built out and really trying to figure out what our, our role is in this space. I think you have some opportunities with the nonprofits to develop a freemium model for it too. So for some nonprofits, they don't need robust data. They just need the ability to sign up people for volunteers. We think that there's a good opportunity there for us to be this turnkey virtual foundation mentality. It's more voices, right? We might be stepping on each other's toes, but at least it's more voices. Our next meeting is with Amy and Jessica from Vibonomics. The whole story on how Vibonomics came around was really that when we built the brand for Selflessly, they were one of the first ones to kind of step up and like, whatever you're doing, we want to help. So for today, we're going to kind of talk about our progress of the company with Vibonomics and make sure that we're getting them the features that they need and a timeline that they need. And get them kind of prepped to rock out the beta test. Well, come on back. Come on back. We take on volunteer projects. Indiana Youth Group have the same website since 2011. We're building them a new website. That makes a gigantic difference for them. I wanted to create some templates for the pages so that you can easily replicate them. Sometimes it's easy to write the content and then once you see it on the page, it needs to be different.
probably be a good time to get your ass handed to you in checkers. <laughs> Check oh, okay. It's on. <laughs> when could Corey get started? Tonight. So that's why I wanted to see if we want to talk to Scott today. Have him either start tonight or tomorrow. He laid out a timeline. Should we call Scott really quick? Yeah. Yeah. We'll see if this is still here when we get back. Now uh, can celebrate all of the calories I burned by uh, heading out and getting some pizza and cocktails. So now I feel a little less guilty after that. <laughs> but it's a good day. Got a lot of work done. Met with some awesome people. So that's a win. Made a fool out of myself. Plenty. Kept it awkward. Got stuck in the slide. Typical startup stuff really special about our tech community here. We are a, a kind of a family. Competitive at times, but I think that um, there's so much support now. It just has very much blown the perception of what people think of Indiana once they get here. I think the nice thing that you see with like every meeting that we have is it's always ending with somebody always asking, what can I do to help you? Versus let's talk in a few weeks. And I think that that's something you don't see as much in other communities. You can't just get that same opportunity to do all the things in any other place. All right, cheers. cheers! Thank you so much. Thanks for spending the day with me. Hope to see you in Indianapolis soon.